All right, let's wrap this up with just kind of some some of your favorite later round targets. We can do like ninth round or later or just guys that you're usually kind of targeting running backs, tight ends, quarterbacks, <laughs> wide receivers, whoever you like. Can I um, can I make a point here just very quickly? Yeah. here? I think it's funny here that Algiers is only going five picks behind CPAT now. Yeah, that that seemed interesting to me. I just, how do you, how do you just, feel after the week one of the preseason? Algier, Algier got in there a little late. I was tweeting at the Falcons um, uh, during the game, actually. <laughs> what did they say? <laughs> Nothing. Yeah. Oh, just, uh, Chick-fil-A is still closed during games. Not only on Sundays. Only on Sundays. I think it was a Friday game. I think I also, was also drinking. Um, uh, so, um, oh, fucking Falcons, what are y'all doing? You know why Algier is better than these scrubs? Yeah, exactly. I think, <laughs> I think it was first carry. He rushed for 15 yards, and I'm like, against the fourth string. <laughs> they're still, they're still got to play ball, too. Hey, well, my man's got he, he he went deeper into the well, you got some more intel on why Algier was doing that, right? I don't have any more intel. I was just I was I what was did you read? speculating and reading some things, and it was basically like, you know, I think they feel pretty good about Algier and they're they're not sure what they have in Allison, and they're not they don't know if they want to keep him. So they were giving him run with some better players to see what was going yeah. on. And then, you know, they know Algier is gonna be on the squad and they feel pretty good about him. So hey, he came in, let's get him some run, let's get him. Hit hit a little bit, see what he can do in live game action, and and he was just fine. So I think I think you're going to be all right now. Damian Williams could be another yeah. little bit of a thorn could in the side there. Yeah. Agreed, um, but agreed. Damian Pierce doesn't look like he's going to have that issue. Anyhow, um, let's let's go around the room a little bit and and throw in some some targets here that that everybody likes. I could I can kick it off, and I like that I like that Christian Kirk snap up at nine eight there. I, I don't I don't hate that. I think there could be some good. Uh, sneaky mm. volume there for for Christian Kirk, although it does seem like Zay, my name uh, is was highly efficient in his targets. Uh, Zay the was out there fucking crushing it, and I was loving it. I anytime Lawrence Zay even Jones, missed him a little high in the middle there uh, on one of those throws in the preseason. There, but almost tell that pick. to yeah. a certain someone. I, every time Zay Jones makes a catch, well, my I just I just get ex- I'm just like look at that man. That man mate, just makes me happy. I know I'm. Kirk didn't play in that game, Mm-mm. so it's nice to see right. Zay getting run and and Marvin. They don't need to throw it to Marvin. They don't need to see what they need and what they have in Marvin in that right. preseason game. They did play the starters a, a fair amount, and and Evan Ingram even made a nice catch. He didn't drop it and then turned it into a touchdown. I was like, look at my man. That, that if he could just catch the ball, I didn't know. Awesome, I didn't know what number. Ingram I know, was, right? And they ran that little that little boot where yeah. Ingram Ingram ran that little uh, misdirection kind of counterplay out of the tight end, kind of came off and went back outside. And I was like, "What? I know all the running backs on that team. They don't have that many. Who the fuck is that?" And it was fucking Ingram. And I was like, "Oh shit!" I was like, "If he could just or something? not drop the ball, he's gonna be good." Right. Late round, he's not even drafted here. Uh, right. Another late round tight end. Boy. DC, yeah, we should. Run I think up. Julio Jones for me. I'm gonna be curious to see how if he creeps up, but I think that's another nice late round stab and and redraft here. Who, who you guys got? Do I'm I sure we'll name some more. Landry's another one for me. Do I have to say it? Who Jacoby Myers. Jacoby Myers. Yeah, I like it. Jacoby Myers in the beginning of the eleventh round. Strong. It's just a no brainer. In no brainer. Love it. You said Chark a little earlier. He's a big one in Dynasty for me. Chark, Chark late. I, I think there's three specific wide receivers that I that I would really like really late. Um, mm-hmm. Obviously, uh, the homie Romeo Dubs. Uh, yeah, we got to take Dubs. I know, I know you're in. A, yeah, I know, I know you're in. A, I know you're in on Dubs. Sure. Uh, he he went in the 13th in this mock. And again, That's not happening anymore. Uh, well, I, I don't know. What, That's going up. But, but, but between the, you're right. The, the casual redraft fan might not be charting every single trading right. camp preseason blurb you yeah know? but they're also watching espn who's talking about it as yeah. well too so Perhaps. shout out to you by the way you were on dubs early you I, I listen, i'm a fan i'm a fan early. Oh. coming out of the what was that nevada, nevada the yeah. nevada tape is it nevada yeah. or nevada it, it's what is it's whatever <laughs> is it colorado or colorado it's it is what you call it <laughs> Uh, but, but but yeah, Dubs du- 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 is just, I feel like one of those guys that just does a lot of stuff good. Not that he's some flashy player. He just does a lot of stuff good. So anyway, um, Dubs late, uh, obviously Wandale. Y'all know, y'all know how I feel about mm-hmm. Wandale and, and his ability, uh, what he can be leveraged as in New York. Uh, and then also late, K.J. Hamler. Uh, K.J. Hamler, those three players in terms of wide receivers, 
Um, those are three targets that I'm looking at trying to get, it, whether I've gone heavy wide receiver early or whether uh, I've gone running back early. Those are definitely guys that I'm, I'm happy to reach around or two, maybe even three in some instances, four, uh, to be able to scoop up in the 11th, 12th, 13th and be really, really excited about that. But those three receivers especially are ones that I'd, I'd be excited about. Yeah, got some rookie cachet on there. I like that. I like uh, Nico here in the 14th mm, as yeah. well. I'm just too. crushing in the late round, guys. Yeah, yeah. I, I got to get Nico, right? Nico low-key hype right now, and he's a man. He's I was, a man I was in the middle like, of a, a I was specimen. In the, I was in the middle of a rookie draft, and I was looking through. I was scrolling down, scrolling down, scrolling down. Somebody dropped him last year, and I picked him up at 4-2 in a rookie draft. That's awesome. Shout and out I, to me. I don't hate that Alec Pierce stab. I mean, he was he's definitely running with he was on the yeah. field the whole time with Matt Ryan. Now I don't know that he was winning but necessarily. He's on the, hey, but he's on the field. They went to him on third down. He couldn't he couldn't get the slam. Your best ability is availability. So <laughs> and being really tall. Yeah. Um and he's, not, he's a yeah. he looks huge out there. Yeah. How about He's some fast. How about some running backs? We we all we all went wide receivers. Yeah, because Any, you got to get a running back early. Anybody got some running backs that you like taking stabs on? I mean, I I, I threw Kenny Sermon Gainwell. in there. I took Sermon. Yeah. Uh, obviously, that's my team. But I feel like everybody went in hard. They were wrong. Now now everybody's on TDP because it's the new shiny thing. And reading a lot of Niner stuff, watching some Niner stuff, Sermon's kind of getting a little bit of, the, of a little bit of a resurgence here. So I, I like him. Uh, Sort of late there. Um, Got a lot. That, that Mostert, the Mostert stab late isn't the worst. Yeah. Um, who who you like? Zeus. Zeus. Zamir. Pacheco. Pacheco. I mean, yeah, Pacheco. I think everybody's in on the Pacheco train at this point. I did like that Hendo. You didn't like it. And Damian Pierce, if those guys are around, yeah, I sure. like those I mean, guys. I mean, I, I can talk negatively about Hendo, but I'm still going to take him if yeah. the value's there. And Marlon Mack, of course, for me. Like, I, I I love the fact that I could get Pierce and Marlon Mack in the later rounds and, and possibly lock up a backfield. The same thing in Dynasty for me. Um, so those guys have been a big target for me all offseason in, in both formats. Give, give me some give me some late Jamal Williams. Uh, I, I'm, o, I'm OK with what could happen. Again, we're talking about the hopes of this Detroit offense. Um, and again, he, he's pesky enough, just good enough to be able to uh, continue to be a producer. Uh, you mentioned Kenny Gainwell, Jane Way, and that's, that's yeah, another one yeah. of my targets. Lately. Yeah, good call. Sure. Got to. It's uh, so weird. Like Miles Sanders is a really good back, but it's such a weird situation around him. You know, yeah. like he went and played well and then he's like hurt and then he's hurt. That, again. He's and, hurt again. Right. And now they're like, also, he's having trouble catching the ball, which is like, really? Like, I didn't for real. Like, I just it doesn't make the wild Sanders is so weird. Yeah. It's just like, it makes me even want to take Kenny even more. But I know I know Sanders is good. He just can't. It, it, all those pieces haven't fallen for him in a row. Like he, he yeah. gets on a roll and then something fucking happens to him. But like Kenneth Gainwell. Yeah, I don't hate that taking Gus Edwards, putting him on the bench, and then taking Hunter Henry. Put him put, put you him go. On, your, on your IR spot, and then taking Hunter Henry. Him anyway, I think you had I think you had something else. What were you What were you saying? No, I was just gonna say one more. I'm also in on the Darrell Henderson because re- remember last year Cam Akers gets hurt. Darrell Henderson flew up to fourth fourth round. Yeah. in the in redrafts, right? Mm-hmm. And and so we we saw him. I don't think he fell on his face as a starter last year. He, he played pretty well, had some nice moments. He did get he hurt. Definitely startable. But yeah. And, and so now to be able to get that type of player in the ninth, like I, I feel like that's open and shut case. And, and last player, I'll say Michael Carter. Um, g- good player. Obviously, we think that I don't necessarily think that anyone believes that he does a lot better than Brees. But again, a useful player in that offense, a guy that can come in and spell. And so obviously if, Injury occurs. We saw what he could do in the latter half of the season. Uh, Michael Carter is another one of those guys that I'd be happy to stash later as well. Yeah, seems like there's some seems possible like- extreme extreme situations of actual production from him. If you, you really go. needed it, that there could be some week in week out. Um, we were talking on the Patreon, and somebody was asking about him, and that was kind of the the same thing. It looks we- like they want to keep him involved. Yeah. yeah, I think I think just monitoring a couple of camp situations can give you some like whether it's going to be uh, Daryl Williams or Eno Benjamin, those could be either one of those guys. Keontae. Whoever ends up as being the guy could be a Keontae. nice, a nice little steal for you. Or, I mean, if it is Keontae if, Ingram, if, it doesn't seem not, like it's, it's going, going, to going to be, be. Um, but like, you know, Chris, somebody took Chris Evans late. If he ends up being the two to, to mix in, that could be a nice little spot for you. Naheen Hines is in here. Um, 
you know, but there's, there's a couple of camp battles going on that, that you could watch. And when you get a little close redraft, typically uh, any redraft that I do is usually like the week before the season starts. So you kind of know what's kind of set up in front of you. So you could really maybe hone in on a couple of, of, uh, I got one more. What you got? Fucking Brian Robinson. Yeah. Like, well, holy yeah. shit. You I think, I think, I think, I think by the time that rolls around, he's probably not going to be in the sleep. He's going to be going gonna ahead be of Antonio Gibson. Anymore, but yeah. yeah, they're at least both going to be going in the seventh. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. All right, boys. Well, let's wrap this up. Let's get J Mike off to bed. Um, again, we really appreciate you. We hope to do this again soon. Maybe we can make it a little more regular thing. Always Absolutely. such a pleasure to Can't chat believe with you. It took us this long to get you on the show, man. What a travesty on our part. I'm grateful to be with you guys. This I kid you not for the for the last I don't know how many years, uh, always a staple in my podcast rotation. Always, uh, y'all y'all keep me laughing, and I feel like I feel like we've been family for all this time. So I'm grateful for it. Uh, and, and yeah, I'm, I'm very much looking forward to the next time. I'm yeah. on Twitter uh, at J Mike Check. Uh, one half of the Dynasty Dummies over at the DFP in Network, the only network in town, along with Foreman as well. Uh, we'll see if we can crank up some more J Mike's journals, we'll see if we can crank up some more dummy blitzes, uh, and see if we can get the open bar back on track as well with my main man, uh, Gabe Gearing, FF Man Bun. So, uh, again, a treat, a pleasure. Uh, it's super grateful to be able to spend time with you guys. I, I've, I've been pretty geeked about this for the last week. So thank you. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. Thank you. Us too, man. Us too, man. For sure. For sure. For real. We really appreciate it. And if you need somebody else with some sick, some sick flow to fill in on open bar, you know, I, I got you. I think, I think I might be a little thicker than, than him too. So, I mean, Santana. <laughs> yeah, man. Appreciate you. And we'll catch you all next time. Thanks. Peace.